Hi, I'm Christian with Dairy Tech, and in this video, we'll go over Batilda basic operations and setup. We assume that you have read your owner's manual as everything we cover in these videos is covered in great detail in your owner's manual. If you cannot locate your owner's manual, you can visit our website, dairytechinc.com and download it for free in English or Spanish. So to start off, we just wanna get our cold water source and plug that into the water valve inlet. Next, we'll want to get our drain hose that's included, and we just want to connect that to the drain outlet on the Matilda itself and tighten that clamp. We're assuming that you have power set up by a qualified electrician, so we'll just go ahead and plug that in. One. So now we can turn the power on. Here's the switch in the back, just flip that on. Up front, the Matilda will go its first boot cycle, and once we have the water on, it'll start filling the tank automatically. And it'll stop once it's filled to, to the top. Matilda is designed to pasteurize or warm colostrum and perfect utter bags. Each side will hold one four liter bag, or one three liter bag, or two two liters. For this demonstration, we'll be using a four liter bag. To start off, we want to load the bags into the Matilda. So we want to open the lid and then set the bag in horizontally, making sure that it's fully submerged in the water. Then we want to close the lid. So now we're going to pasteurize. We'll select pasteurize and we'll be prompted with two options of feed now or to store. If we select feed now, colostrum will be pasteurized, then cooled to a predetermined feeding temperature for immediate use. If we select store, colostrum would be pasteurized and then cooled to a predetermined cool temperature for storage in a refrigerator or a freezer. For this demonstration, I'll be selecting feed now. It'll begin to heat up to 140 degrees, dwell for one hour, and then cool down to either your storage temperature or your feeding temperature, depending on which program you're selected. If for any reason you need to cancel the cycle, you can select the cancel, and then you will be prompted if you really want to cancel, select yes and it will take you back to your main menu, or no and it will continue running the current cycle as intended. Upon completion of a cycle, Matilda will sound an alert and display ready to feed or ready to store depending on which cycle you have selected. Then we can go ahead and remove the bag. So we can open the lid, pull the bag away from the sink, slightly shake it so any excess water comes off and then pull to the side making sure no water runs down the front of the machine. After that you're ready to either store or to feed. Now we'll be warming a bag of colostrum for feeding. So we'll be selecting the warm and we'll be given two options cold or frozen. Cold assumes that your bag is refrigerated and it's still in a liquid form. Frozen means that the bag is in a solid form and frozen. Again, each side will fit one four liter bag or one three liter bag or two two liters for feeding. For this demonstration, we'll be warming a frozen bag of colostrum for feeding. So we'll just want to open the lid, again, making sure to submerge the bag in the water and then closing the lid. Now we're going to select the frozen setting That'll take it up to our feeding temperature. If for any reason you need to cancel the cycle, you may select the cancel, and it'll prompt you to either cancel, you select the yes, and no will take you back and continue the current cycle. Upon completion, Matilda will sound an alert and display ready to feed when the warming cycle is complete. Then we can go ahead and take the bag out once more, lifting all the way from the tank and shaking so any excess water goes back into the tank and then pulling to the side, making sure that no water runs down the front of the machine. After that, you are ready to feed.